been hearing your prayers. But it really wasn't God that was hearing your prayers, it was Satan. Right. Remember, he's a deceiver. He comes subtly to deceive and trick us. He done tricked all of us. Right. We all been victim to this, this pimp. Bring it out. Because right. Satan is a pimp. And he has children. His children is Esau and the other nations. So they come and make it look real good, real fashionable. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we got to choose ye today, life or death. Bring it out. Right. So who are you? I'm a child of God. What does that mean? I'm, 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 I'm adopted into his kingdom. Okay, let me show you. Come over here. This is the 12, 12 tribes, the 12 tribes of Israel. Yes. You got the 12 sons here. Right. This is, we come from these 12 sons. Right. We are from the nation of Israel. That's who we are. And this book is our, this is our manuscripts. Right. That's this right. is our operating manual. He just said a woman shouldn't wear pants. So that means you gotta start wearing a dress. Right. Because look, don't you wanna look good in God's eyesight? Do you want him to look at you and be like, I oh. don't Do you want him to answer your prayers? I do wear dresses, but I also have to do what my boss says because I also have to feed my You at work right now? I just came to work. Okay. I we got sisters. I got you, I got you. We got sisters in our congregation in that same situation. Mm -hmm. But you know what they do? As soon as they leave they clock off, they go into that bathroom that has the silhouette of a woman on it, mm -hmm. and they change it to a dress, and then they walk off their job. Right. Why? Because they fear what God, she fears more what God thinks right. versus what everyone else thinks. Right. You, know? right. you understand? Yep. Right. So God wants you to what? Fear Him and obey Him. That's right. You understand? That's right. So we got to do what God says. Read that again. The woman, shut up, when that was pretended to a man. Like I said, a man put on a woman's garment, but all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So all that do that are an abomination to him. So God wants to look at you, and he wants to look at you and be like, man, this is my daughter. You want your prayers answered, right? Give me that in uh, John 9, not John 9, 31. You know what I'm saying? You think he's been answering your prayers? He has been. All right, first, you, give me that, and then give me Matthew 4. Read. The book of John, the 9 and verse 31. What is sin, sis? I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. What is sin? What is sin? Sin is uh, breaking the law. Right. So wearing pants is breaking the law. Do you agree? I agree. Okay, listen. The book of John, the 9 and verse 31. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. Read it again. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. Now go to Matthew. Matthew chapter 4. Uh, read verse 1. The book of Matthew, chapter 4 and verse 1. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit unto the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. So we just read that God don't hear sinners. Right. Now we're about to read in Matthew chapter 4 about two entities, Jesus and Satan. Oh, yeah. All right. I want you to pay attention, close attention, sis. Read on. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward in hunger. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command these stones be made bread. So now the tempter is tempting Christ. Call out a nerve of this man, right? Tempting him. Who do you think he is? He think he God. He do think he God, but he not. But he has, but he has power though. Yes, he does. He has power. Let me show you some of this power. Read. But he answered his head. It is written. Man shall not live by bread alone. Man shall not live by bread alone, but what? But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So that means you got to live by God's rules. That's right. You got to do what he say. That's Read on. Then the devil taketh them up into the holy city and set him on a pinnacle of the temple. That's enough. And said unto him, if thou be the son of God, cast thyself down. So he said, if you be the son of God, go ahead and jump down. Yes, he did. For it is written. He shall give his angel charge concerning thee, uh -huh. and in their hands they shall bear thee up. Least at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. So guess what Jesus is doing? Satan is coming to him trying to tempt him. Right. Jesus is combating what he's saying by 
rehearsing God's laws to him. Right. You know what I'm saying? By the word. So he's using the manuscripts or what's in his Bible to combat what Satan is bringing to him. Right. 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 Read. Jesus said unto him, It is when again thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Don't tempt the Lord thy God. You understand? Right. So what is that saying? That means, look, I'm not going to just, I'm not going to stick my toe in the water to see if it's warm or cold. Right. He said don't stick my toe in there, I'm not going to do it. Right. I'm not going to tempt God because it might be a piranha that I don't see and start eating on my feet. Right. So that's very, very profound right there, sis. But here's the point. Read. Again, the devil taking them up into an exceeding high mountain and show them all the kingdoms of the world. So now Satan is showing Christ all his power, all his glory, all his riches. Want him to serve him. Want him to serve him. And the glory of them. And say unto him, all these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. So this proves that Satan blesses too. Right. Satan hears prayers and gives you things too. Bring it out. So if God says he doesn't hear sinners, who is hearing you then? If you're sinning. You feel me? Because you said He's been hearing your prayers. But it really wasn't God that was hearing your prayers. It was Satan. Right. Remember, he's a deceiver. He comes subtly to deceive and trick us. He done tricked all of us. Right. We all been victim to this, this pimp. Bring it out. Because right. Satan is a pimp. And he has children. His children is Esau right. and the other nations. Right. So they come make it look real good, real fashionable. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So we got to choose ye today. Life or death. Right. Life is keeping God's laws. Death is breaking God's law. You understand, bro? Yes, sir. So what do you have to do? You can't wear pants, right? I mean, you can't wear a dress, right? So if you see a woman when moving forward wearing pants, how are you going to conduct yourself with? How do I conduct myself with that? How do I conduct myself with I'm probably trying to uh, make up more knowledge with God's laws. Make more knowledge with God's laws, right? Because one of the things that happens when 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 women wear things that they shouldn't wear, like tight pants, what does that cause on us men? For us, uh, uh, yeah. cause us to be out of line, like how? Uh, to make us flirtations or to think make us it. lust after, all right? So that's the importance of the women keeping God's laws. And the men keeping God's law. Right. Because now we're not gonna lust after you. Now we're not gonna try to now we're not gonna try to mack you down yeah. and, and have sex with you. Right. And what comes out of that? Unwanted kids, yeah. child support, diseases. I'm on the, on she may be dealing with another man, he find out, now he y'all into it. Right. Now he now the spirit of jealousy get on him and now he wanna kill you. Bring it out. So it's a reason why God says these things. Because once you become an abomination, you open yourself up for judgment. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 